Set and drift practice problem three. At 726, you depart Lake Montauk with light one close aboard and set a course for 65 degrees per standard magnetic compass at 6.7 knots. At 912, your GPS position is 41.12.8, longitude 71.48.2. What are the set and drift of the current? All right, so let's lay this out on the whiteboard and do our math. We know we're going to need a time. So we take our end time, 9.12, 9.12 minus our start time, 7.26, 7.26. Okay, you can't take 26 from 12, right? So we borrow from the hour. One hour is how many minutes? 60, 60 plus 12, 72 minutes. Now we can borrow from this. 6, 12, that gives us 6. 46, 8 minus 7 is 1 hour, 46 minutes. This 46 minutes must be converted, divide by 60. Now, just in your head, 46 minutes is about how many hours? About 0.75 hours. So we need our answer to be close to 0.75 when we're done with this. So 46 divided by 60 equals 0.766. So 0.77. 0.77. Now we have one hour, 0.77. So we have 1.77 hours. Let's set up our D street now. Distance, speed, time. We need to know how far we go down our course. Our time was 1.77 hours. And our speed is given in the problem. And we're on three. 6.7 knots. 6.7 knots, nautical miles per hour. Distance, now we can get the distance. Here's our memory aid, D Street. Distance is equal to speed times time. So 6.7 times 1.77, clear. 6.7 times 1.77 equals 11.86. 11.86. Oh, that's funny. 11.86. 11.86 nautical miles. Now we know how far down our course are go we're going. Now what is our course? T, V, M, D, C. Our course was 0.65 PSC. 0, 6, 5 degrees PSC. What is the deviation? 0, 6, 5, we're about 4 east. You know, 75 would be 3 east. 65 is 4 east. 4 east. Okay, we're going up. We add 69, 0, 6, 9. Variation, 15 west. We subtract it. It's going to come to 54. Let's check it. I've been wrong before. 69 minus 15 equals 54 degrees. 0, 5, 4 degrees true. This is our course. And I'm just going to set up the last D street because I know we're going to have to get a speed when we're talking about drift. And we already have a time, 1.77 hours. So now we lay this on the chart, we'll get this distance, and we'll be able to calculate drift. So we'll get set and drift, the two components of current. Here we are. Let's find these latitudes and longitudes. Three. So we start Lake Montauk, light one close aboard. Perfect. It's right here. And at 912, 41, 12.8. 41, 10, 11, 12.8. 48 two. 50 48 two. We're over here. I'm gonna stay on this side of the comp this side of the chart. I'm gonna get my longitude here. 
is 48.2 and the latitude is 12 so we're going to be somewhere up here now we'll come up and get 12.8 11 12.8 good we go up this line 12.8 Mark it. This is our end. Remember, we start at Lake Montauk. We went towards the end. So we started here. We actually ended up here. Our intended course was 054. We get that. 054. We line her up. Strike line. It's being kind of a bugger. There we are. Zero five four. We strike this line, nice and long. How far up this line did we travel? Sometimes I see this is a little bit far away from this line, but just keep working through the problem have faith in this process that you did so from the start 054 how far up this line do we travel 11.86 right our speed was 67 we travel for an hour 77 for 1.77 hours times these two and we said we should have traveled 11.86 so now we're gonna do the old deviation table trick and we're gonna get 11.86 because our dividers won't reach they'll reach 8.5. If you stretch them, they'll do 8.7. So 11.86, 5, 10, 11.86. Okay, there's our mark. This is how far down this line we need to go. From our mark, right at our starting point, 11.86 out, make a mark. Good. This is where we reckon we should be, but what happened? We got pushed this way. We got pushed this distance, which has a direction in some time. So now we can get our set, which is f we got pushed from where we reckon we should be toward where we actually ended. This is the distance we got pushed. Here's our set. So remember, from towards so we go to the center of the compass from towards our set is 280 285 6 287 we got a set of 287 degrees true at how many knots we need a distance which we have here right we measured that distance we kept it on there Come over here and say five. So we have one, two, three point three point five five. I'm gonna I'm right in between, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Three point five five. Let's double check. We don't wanna mess up now. We went through this. One, two, three point five five. So we said three point five five nautical miles. Speed, we need a speed. If you go back to D Street, speed is equal to distance divided by time. So our distance divided by time equals 3.55, unclear, 3.55 divided by 1.77 hours, 1.77 hours equals 2.005. So 2.0 nautical miles per hour or knots. So the set was 287 true. The drift was 2.0 knots. Now let's check that out, see if that's available. Now we read the correct side of the compass, 287. So here we are, 287 at two knots. Whoa, this one, we just nailed it. 287 true at two knots 
And here we are in our answers, 287 at two knots. So number three we're saying is B. And we check, number three is B. So the correct answer to set and drift, practice problem three, is B, 287 true at two knots.